Hello guys, so welcome to Techies Inside. So in today's video, we are going to unbox a special gift that we have ordered from Flipkart on this big billion day. So here's it, here's the glimpse of it. And we are now going to unbox this thing over here. So without wasting much time, let's go to unboxing. So let's unbox this. So this is a Magic Speed X2. X52 drawn here. So this company is of a tector here. So it's written tector here. And we have a lot of specifications of this drone like barometer height set, the trajectory flight and the camera which comes in full HD 180p and uh, one key return feature we have available and a real time transmission and uh, one key takeoff and landing also. So let's unbox. what the box contains here we have a lot of stuff wandering around and it consists of mainly this drone over here as you can see it's written flying toys and we have a, a good quality build quality for this drone and the next thing that comes with it is the transmitter it's a transmitter that comes with it we have a good quality transmitter and receiver here and the good quality is and the plastic is of some good quality and uh, this is a mobile phone holder that comes with it and we can install it like this and here we can place the mobile phones and I forgot to tell this comes with the, the application to operate this thing through the Wi-Fi and um, this is the QR code for the Android application and uh, this is the one for the iOS application. So we can download the application for connecting with the camera. And the other things that are two extra propellers and uh, a small screwdriver which comes along with some screws also here. And uh, a propeller guard, four propeller guards over here and there is obviously one camera one hd camera but it it feels pretty light and it's a very cheap build quality but it looks all right and then what is available here is the charger for the drone here so here is it how we are going to assemble it so now let's start into the work of uh, assembling all these parts together so first of all uh, this one is a vibration damper that comes along with the camera where the camera is mounted so this one goes into this base port here so this one goes like this and it's there as you can see it's designed to absorb the vibrations of the drone and uh, now comes the camera here and this one goes like this sorry like this okay uh, the camera is also fixed and we can adjust the motion of the camera also like this so and we need to connect there is a small slot for the wire to be inserted here and we will insert it here in this small pocket
look over here. Uh, I hope you can see the port over there where we need to put the. It's becoming difficult. I don't know why. Okay, it has get into place now, and now the main thing comes is the battery of this drone. So let's open it and check the battery. So there we can see a battery. I don't know whether it is fully charged or not. So it's connected here. So this is the battery of the drone, which comes like 3.7 volt and a 1600 mAh, and which gives an output of like 5.9 watt hour. Okay, it's already connected here, and we will now put it back. And now we will close the compartment. Okay, it is like an excellent mini replica of the DJI Phantom models. So that's the peculiarity and what makes it different from other drones that's available in the online market. Now, okay, now look at this. The DJI, same, same looks that the toy drone provides us. At a, such a low budget of 3000 bucks. And now we will do the landing gears over here. So we will put it on the landing gears like this. Okay, it's gone here and it's gone here. Now this one over here. Hey man, look at here. Okay here and hopefully you can see and this is what uh, our DJI looks like when it's over like this this is the feedback that it provides can you see this and now let's just turn on the switch and check whether everything is working yeah you can see that the lights are blinking and that's because uh, they are not connected through the frequency thing so we will just turn this off right now and we will now assemble the transmitter for this with the batteries first Now let's come into the quality of the transmitter that we have received here and here this come with a battery slot for 4 cells and we here use a 1.5 volt battery for numbers so we will have to put 4 of them. So we have done four of them. Now we will close it. And we will check whether it's working. Yes, the beep sound indicates that the transmitter is working. And now we will have to add some more things like the propeller guards over here and the mobile phone mount here. So we will mount this like this. <coughs> working pretty good and now we will no. now we are going to connect our mobile phone now we are going to connect our mobile phone into the transmitter so so we have the application here this is the we will we will set it here Okay, we will keep it here like this and we will 
should turn on the FPV camera. We should turn off the data, turn on the Wi-Fi. Turn on the Wi-Fi. And now we will need to turn on the transmitter first. After that, turn on the drone now. Okay, now now we can see that these lights are blinking. That's because now until now the tra the transmitter is not paired with the drone. So that is the thing. So in order to pair this thing, we will now have to pull this throttle all the way up and all the way down. And now we can see that the light is still blinging. This means that the battery is, we have a very low battery. And now we will check whether the throttle is... Yeah, now the light has become stable. That means the pairing has been completed. Okay? So, now the pairing is complete. And now... We will set up the camera. So we have a unknown source over here and we will try to connect. And this says that there is no internet connection, that's alright. And we will now go back to the application. Start. Yeah. Here we can see the batteries. As you can see, yeah, hopefully us. Yeah. We can see everything around us over here. And now the camera is also set up. And now we are ready for takeoff. Before that, we will uh, add on our propeller guards also here. And we will add it like this. Simply take them. and press it into place okay all of them similarly okay Okay, third one is also done, and now the fourth one. Okay, all the drone, the whole thing is set now. Now, the drone is ready for the takeoff. Now, let's come into the throttle. Joysticks and the transmitter things. So, when it comes to this, we have a automatic auto takeoff button over here and a auto cutoff landing button over here and this is the headless mode and this is the return home button and the, this, this is the emergency stop button so here once this transmitter is turned on the drone is turned on then the throttle is pushed the full throttle and it's all the way down to for pairing the drone with the transmitter then for arming it we will pull the sticks both downwards to the outer side of the transmitter just like this this is how the drone is armed and doing a similarly one more time will disarm the drone so this is how we are arming it and giving slight throttle will give the drone to take off. Now let's start flying it.
Perspective point of view. That's how stable the drone is, as you can see. Now, at some point, you can say that some turbulence is picking up the direction, and we need a non-windy atmosphere here. So now we are putting it back into normal position. with the drone of the fact that it is one of the cheapest and one of the drone that is available with with this much features that we have had here and uh, we can even record as you can see we have recorded and we will be adding the video quality of this drone also as it is not so good at all but still for the fact that it has a camera it looks perfect and it's a perfect for children over 14 years old and it's a super drone as for my reviews are concerned.